Hey guys, today I have Sage. Sage Burmeister is a holistic health coach in San Diego, California. He is a trainer, breath work, and meditation teacher, as well as a nutritionist. He is an ex-college football player, which I did not know, um, who got sober at the age of 21 and fell in love with helping people transform their health through a holistic lifestyle. And Sage is my breathwork and meditation coach. And so anytime I have a good tool, you guys know you're not a tool. Anytime I have a great resource or something that I know will help you, I have to share it out. So thank you for being here today, Sage. Oh, thanks for having me, Hannah. Awesome. Yeah, I didn't know you were a, a college athlete. Yeah, yeah. So I um, went to Idaho State um, out of high school and played there and then played at Humboldt State my last two years. Nice. Yeah, that's kind of close to where I am in Northern yeah. California. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, you know, we heard a little bit in your intro that your story, like your life experiences have put you on this path to help others with holistic health. And I'd love to dig into that a little bit more. Like what were some of the things you were noticing in yourself or in your life that inspired you to, to make massive change in your life? Awesome. I, um, so I come from a football oriented family. Um, my dad played in the NFL. My brother plays at Virginia Tech now. So I've always been like in sports and trying to achieve and, and really perform well in that. So I went through high school, um, went to a private school where the, you know, education was pretty rigorous. And um, around that time, I started looking for things to just help me calm down and focus my mind. Um, and meditation was the first thing I found. I was actually on YouTube and um, I was looking for ways and I, I came across some meditation tapes and started listening to them daily. Um, but it wasn't until I got to college and I started playing football, had a busy schedule. Um, and at that time, I kind of got met at a crossroads where I could pick the easy thing, which at the time for me was Adderall. Um, it was a really popular thing in college. I needed something to help me focus. Um, it, or I could have, you know, went the meditation route at that time. At that time, I wasn't ready to fully dive into a holistic lifestyle. So I went. Um, with the other and did that for a couple of years um, and just kind of hit a wall with it. Uh, one, I wasn't being fulfilled. I, you know, I, I would, I would get the work done, but just like not feel it and I wouldn't feel good physically. Um, and I couldn't sustain it for a long time. So I was already beginning to learn like what burnout felt like or what it felt like to, you know, just kind of feel empty at the end of things when you complete them. Um, so around that time, um, what was coming up for me energetically and emotionally was like, I knew I needed to get to the bottom of, you know, my substance use. And, um, around that time I had finished up with school. I left school, moved to LA and I decided to get, uh, sober at that time, which, you know, telling the story is, it's a, it's an easy story to tell. It was much harder to go through and live. Um, but that was when I kind of chose the other route of staying in balance with myself and learning how to control my, you know, energy or con control my physiology to feel better, um, really stay in balance while also performing. Um, so I found uh, meditation again. I, I reconnected with that. It was just a simple mindfulness practice, um, really working at like I am consciousness, like learning how to connect and feel and get out of my head. And that was a great start for me. Um, and then one day I came across breathwork videos because I'm on YouTube a lot. I think it's the best like resource ever. Um, and I came across breathwork. Uh, that night I was looking for courses. Um, you know, I tried it like that day, that night looking for courses. I started getting certified. Wow. Taking courses, yeah, it was like immediately my body fell in love with it. I was hooked. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because you know, like it produces that natural high, oh, and yeah. then, yeah, <laughs> and then from there, like you're able to get into a little bit more mindfulness based or just able to meditate after the fact, totally. Yeah, yeah. I love this week, even like just like an example of this. This week, I was feeling in my head, big time. I didn't know if it was burnout or what. And I got to our coaching call and Sage was like, okay, so like, let's get a clear mind. Like, let's get into breath work. And I was like, 
oh yeah, like that's why we do it. And so we went through our exercise and then afterwards it was like, I'm good. Like it's all good. (laughs) So it is amazing. Like you said, like that the clarity absolutely is immediate. It's a release for sure. And I think it's awesome that we can tap into that like over a zoom call and get it done. You know, like it's one of those things where it's always with you. You're just using your breath and following the techniques. Um, It is a simple practice, but as we've shared throughout the time, like it isn't always easy just because it's simple. Um, you will reach like it's breath work for a reason. Like there is a work aspect. It's an exercise. So you will hit walls, whether it be emotionally or physically. And the more you can kind of sustain yourself and really feel out what's going on, um, you'll come out the other side of it with actually like releasing these things for the day, Mm -hmm. you know, and that's a huge thing. Um, And that's something where my job, you know, a big part of my job is introducing breath work to people. And this is kind of the pattern I see in what happens. First time they try it, they absolutely love it. Second, third, you know, fourth time, it's not as easy as it was the first time because they don't have all the excitement going up into it and they kind of hit a wall with it. And that's where I really like to like let people know you, it it is an exercise. You do have to put the work in, you have to stay present and it's not always going to be comfortable and it's not always going to be like the first time. Um, but that is a a part of it, you know, so it's a discipline. Mm -hmm. And, um, I really think for people that are looking for a time efficient practice, like something that they can do, um, morning routines are, are a huge thing for a lot of high performers. I think majority of people that are striving to do better, they understand that they need to get in the right mindset. Um, because we don't always wake up on the right side of the pillow. Totally. Thing the time efficiency because the days roll fast like i'm a person if i wake up at eight o'clock within you know like a blink of an eye and breath work is a time efficient practice uh you know from yourself you need 10 minutes you know like 10 minutes to just tap in sit down and get focused and you can change the way you feel pretty fast and i I've loved yoga in the past. I love working out. It's like, I love all of these things, but I haven't run into something like breath work where it's as time efficient and powerful and it connects me on a mind, body, spirit level. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's like, that is why I love it. And it's very, very simple. And it just makes a lot of sense that using your breath and har- harnessing in on it can make that big of a difference. Yes. I want to take a step back because I think this is so important for people to hear, right? Like a lot of, I thought, oh, I have meditation. Oh, I have yoga. Oh, I have all these other things that should do it for me. And it was a few months ago now, I was talking to our mutual friend, Joshua, and I was just unloading. I'm like, I don't know what this is. It was during, you know, COVID pandemic quarantine. And I listed off all of these things. Like, I don't know, like, I just want to wake up in the morning with energy. I just feel like I'm never on anymore. I'm wondering if I should go gluten-free or if I should do more yoga or if I should meditate different or if I should run more. I just started, like, you could have made, like, a white girl entrepreneur parody video out of me because I was throwing out all these things I thought I needed to do to, like, get myself back in the zone, right? That, like, feeling like you're in inspired flow or you're working on purpose. And Joshua was like, honestly, everything you just said, like, you just need sage. We chatted and I probably threw stuff at you in our first call too. Like maybe I just need these, you know, all these other little things, but it's mm-hmm. what I love about breath work is what you just said is that it's time efficient and you always have it. You don't need a yoga mat. You don't need your running shoes. Like you literally just need yourself and to know the techniques. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I, um, I think it's another huge part of it for me as well is um, the emotional side to it and the feeling nature of it that you really have to buy in uh, throughout because as you breathe deeper and when your body's not used to it, naturally emotions will start coming up and things that you've been feeling and it's a fast track or almost like an easier way to kind of feel what's underneath and re- reconnect with it and reconnect with yourself. And I think for busy people that are looking to get a lot done and just perform at a high level, 
being connected with yourself is the primary thing because as soon as you lose that and you're just getting stuff done and it's a checkbox, you lose your power. So why, why are we even checking off the boxes at that point? Because we're not even connected with the groundwork, like the, the power behind it. So yeah. I think integrating breath work on the daily is a, a huge part of that. And as you know, Hannah, like I, when I found Abraham Hicks, um, I absolutely fell in love with it. I think that's another great tool that people should be using. Um, she's on YouTube. You can check out her videos. There's other people like Bashar. Um, but anybody in the kind of metaphysics, spirituality, mindset type work, it goes very well with the breath work mm -hmm. um, and really makes you feel it. Like you feel amped up for the day. Oh, and yeah. it, it is not necessarily like um, motivation. I mean, there is an aspect of it, but like we can't just thrive on motivation all the time. Mm -hmm. I think what, what these, these people or the, these tapes are telling you is like, connecting within is actually the biggest thing mm -hmm. you know like like realizing where you're at how you're feeling like th these are the biggest things that will end up carrying the momentum for you absolutely that's where your creativity is coming from that's where your productivity can come from manifestation manifestation people connecting with you and vibing out with you and then you know they're sharing your work with somebody else you know like it's it's how it works yeah. We had yeah. another guest a few episodes ago. Her name's Serena Curran and she talks about um how your soul, you know, drives your business. And this is definitely something I ran into when we talked on that episode about is you can take the like control freak route, if you will, of like, okay, I'm gonna use this strategy, I'm gonna build my business, like this is how it's gonna go, like check these boxes, hustle, grind, muscle through it. Um, but for me and for so many others, that wears off. You reach a, a stopping point where you're burnt out. You're questioning, why am I do that, doing this? Am I made out for it? Why isn't this fun? I'm not in flow like I maybe once was. And so it's that how you described it, Sage, so beautifully to me is that this morning work, breath work, is like spending time with your soul. And when you spend time with your soul, you can better align with that. And so I can make better decisions about what I want to happen in my business from like inward not from like, oh, well, this Facebook ad caught my attention. So now I need to go do this thing and do more, do more, do more. It's yeah. about like being more, which is yeah. woo woo and probably not what you want to hear if you're burnt out right now. Uh, mm -hmm. But you can either stay burnt out or you could try something different like breath work, right? I agree. I, I'm 100% on board with it. And I think, um, you know, like this time too, like there's so much out there, like there, there's so much information out there um you know naturally when when you're just checking off the boxes the thing is is to look over at other people and see what they're doing like there's so many people doing so much as well like you will get lost in the sauce the the, the ocean's too big right now in 2020 everything is online it's so easy for you to go check out what somebody else is doing and compare yourself or feel like you should be doing more the inner work for you to stay balanced and stable and then also have some authenticity I'm a firm believer that every single one of us is beautifully unique. Every single one of us. And I know that because through my story, it, it, there's been, it's been a rocky ride at some points, but at the end of the day, it's made me who I am. And a lot of my biggest achievements have come through that. A lot of my biggest connections have come through that. And it's really just showed me that uniqueness is the power. Like who you are is, is where you're going to, you know, strive from and jump from. So I really just encourage people because we all do it. We all, you know, get caught up in checking off the boxes, get caught up in, in the to-do list to take more time for this work because people will recognize it. And, you know, priority is like, you feel it, you feel it. So inner, inner work is the new kind of first check off the box thing. And I, I've noticed that mm -hmm. with a lot of different people, whether you watch like Aubrey Marcus's podcast or, um, you know, even Joe Rogan, who has a huge podcast, like they're constantly talking about like, how can I feel better? Like, what are some certain tools or tips? Um, and breathwork comes up quite a bit. I, I really think it's growing. I think breathwork is like the new yoga. When yoga was like 2005, 2010, just took a gigantic jump. I, I think we're about to see breathwork do the same. Okay. So people are listening. They're like, okay, I'm open. I'm interested. Maybe I'll like jump on this. If it's going to be like yoga, we have lots of yogis out there. We love them. Um, 
how, where, where do we start? You know, is it a YouTube thing? Is it, what's something that people can do today to, to maybe open themselves up to like the baby steps of breath work or giving it a first go around? Um, I really think immediate would just be go to YouTube, um, type in like breath work practices, go check that out. Um, I'm sure you'll run into like some Wim Hof, um, maybe some other teachers, but then eventually you will want to find like a teacher or someone to guide you through that. Yeah. And, you know, you staying consistent with it is going to be the biggest thing. And I'm a firm believer in that. So I would go to YouTube, feel it out. And then when you're ready to get serious, take a course, get a teacher, go on a retreat, like really mm -hmm. dive into it for you. Because what I've noticed with it is the more serious you take it, the more time you give yourself to really dive in, the more you get out of it. Yeah. Yeah. And what are some of the benefits? You know, we talked about maybe having more clarity or like clearing your mind. What are some other benefits that people can expect if they start tapping into breath work consistently? Or not consistently. I don't know. Does it take consistency? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there's some immediate effects, definitely. I think, um, you know, physiology and, and within the body, I think the nervous system makes a huge jump uh, right away. So a lot of us are in fight or flight. That's like our survival mode when we feel like I got to get this done so I get my paycheck on Friday or I got to make sure the rent is done, or, you know, like these types of things. Um, <clears throat> So it makes a switch when you oxidize your body like that. It actually turns you into rest and digest. You're like, oh, I finally let that shit go. I feel like I'm just chilling like on the couch or in bed. Like I just feel released. There's nothing to worry about. I'm cool. So the switch in the nervous system is huge. Um, cardiovascular is another huge one. Um, also just... Um, like the emotional release from it. Like you get a lot out emotionally, like anything that you've been feeling or feel like you're, you know, gripping onto, you're able to release that. Um, and mentally it's like great for clarity. Um, and that all comes from the nervous system switch over um, that happens during the breath work. Yeah. At one point you said something, you say a lot of beautiful things in a meditative state. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I've taken away a nugget you planted and that I'm giving myself medicine. And I think about that as I just like take in more oxygen and I release more toxins just from like the, you know, carbon dioxide versus oxygen cycle. Like that is medicine and it integrates yeah. into all of our cells, right? Yeah. I, I, it's huge. I mean, people are doing like oxygen therapy or oxygen tanks um cryotherapy for the cold and oxygen is another thing like it is a medicine you know and we survive off oxygen over water over food over everything else it's oxygen um so it is a medicine i mean i was at um i was at like a supplement or sporting goods store the other day and they were selling like these oxygen tanks that you take like before and after your workout you know like to america of course yeah, like getting more oxygen in your system you know instead of doing the breath work or whatever um, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I think people know everything. that it's medicine. Yeah. It's everything. It's amazing. And like you said, Sage, you know, there's always that opportunity to go study, to soak it in, to watch YouTube. But if you're anything like me, I just want to do it right. I just want to be held accountable. I just want to have, I hire a coach for everything, right? Like I just part of my philosophy. So yeah. where can people learn more about you and what you do and continue this conversation? You can go to my Instagram or Facebook, and it's just uh, Sage, S-A-G-E, and then Burmeister, B-U-R-M-E-I-S-T-E-R. Um, feel free to reach out or DM me um, on either pl platform, and then I also have my website link in my Instagram, and uh, you can check out the description for my breathwork course and what it looks like, um, and yeah. Just a real dude doing real things. I love it. Yeah. The first time I was at one of your workshops, it was with, um, it was in Encinitas and we were out whatever a moonlit beach or whatever. And I said to our mutual friend, I was like, is his name really Sage? Like that's way too on point. Like, is this yeah. his stage name? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no. And he was really, He's a sage. Um, so yeah, real, real sage. Um, we'll make sure that we get those links out so you guys can make some connections and continue breathing your way and being your way into your dream life. 
So I'll be back next week with another inspiring guest. Until then, keep being. <laughs> love it. Love it. <laughs>